Welcome to you, your Sega CPS YouTube channel. Please subscribe channel for more videos and to get the item support for 10 days. Today we are discussing about invoice number range announcement. Okay, why we have to do the announcement? Why we can't use a standard? We'll see now. How first we need to understand in standard how number range is determining for invoice. How is determining? So VOF here that equal for billing types. In this billing type, we are assigning the number, right? In billing type, we are assigning the number 19. Okay. This 19 backend already we created number range. For 19, what is the number series here? For 19, the number series is this one, 9 series. Okay, this is the 9 series. So whenever we are creating invoice, whenever you are creating invoice against billing type F2, okay, always system will give this 9 series. Whatever the sales organization, 1000 sales organization, 2000 sales organization, whatever the sales organization, whatever the plant, what the division, irrespective of the enterprise structure, I mean, sorry, uh, sales area. Thus, uh, if, it is, uh, if it is billing type F2, this series will come, right? But client requirement is, you don't want to the same number series for all sales organizations. Okay, he had some combinations like for example, so here I'm explaining on real time issue. I mean on real time scenario. Okay, here if you see one of the client requirement is what the client requirement here. So whenever they're creating this invoice against thousand sales organization division one. This is the uh, plan thousand. Okay, plan thousand. So whenever we are creating okay we have one plant is enough so when are you creating uh, this combination system has to give number series as five series we will explain clear wait so here if you see i have how many uh, sales uh, i mean sales organization is there three sales organization thousand two thousand three thousand whenever i am creating invoice Against sales organization, division, plant, F2 combination, the series has to be one series. The series has to be one series. Whenever I am creating, okay, whenever I am creating invoice, a combination of sales organization, division, and plant, the number series has to be 1 to 1 to 0. Okay, whenever I am creating invoice against this sales organization thousand sales organization and uh, division zero one plant is um, three thousand the series has to be three thousand i mean three series whenever i'm creating this combination the series has to be this series so if you observe here billing type is same okay whenever you're creating the invoice against we f2 whatever the number range is there whatever the number range is there this is this will come but what we are doing we are bypassing this one okay we are bypassing this number range we are taking from this combination okay we are taking from this combination so whenever we are creating invoice whenever we are creating invoice combination of uh, against this combination this combination this series will come against this combination this series will come against this combination this this series will come how we have to do simple Usually, uh, the number range we are taking from VN0 only. Here only we are taking, okay, we are only here, uh, we are creating number range. 1 series, 2 series, 3 series, 1, one 2 series. So, we are getting number range, right? Instead of assigning this number ID in VOF2, instead of assigning here, what we are doing? We are assigning on G table. We are assigning on G table. Okay, how we will do? We will see now. First, what is the client requirement? Client is asking whenever saving the billing document, system has to check the. So, uh, uh, first of all, what we have to do, we need to create two G tables. Actually, it has to be done by the uh, above. Okay, just we need to provide to logic. We have to tell to them we need the two, uh, two G tables. One is the combination of sales organization, division, billing type, and plant. This combination we are assigning the number range 19. Uh, here we assign 19, right? This 19 instead of assigning here, we are assigning here this combination. Okay, this combination we are assigning number range 19. Okay, if there is no data in this table, again system has to check this table. 
ओके दिस टेबल कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ दिस सेल्स और डिविजन बिल्डिंग टाइप दिस कॉम्बिनेशन इट हैज टू टेक वार्ड नंबर इन दिन हाउ विद दिस टेबल हाउ विल क्रिएट दिस विल क्रिएट बै दि अब टीम जस्ट वी हेव टू टेल टू दम वाट आर वाट आर आल फील्स रिक्वयर्ड इन द टेबल इन दिस टेबल हाउ मेनी फील्स रिक्वयर्ड वी रिक्वयर्ड फाइव फाइव फील्स इन दिस टेबल हाउ मेनी फील्स रिक्वयर्ड फोर टेबल्स फोर फील्स ओके इन दिस टेबल फोर फील्स इन दिस टेबल फाइव फील्स again again you will ask one more question what are the key fields our key fields is this this are all our key fields what are the difference between key fields okay for example this combination already i maintain one series same combination if i am trying to maintain it will throw the error why because of already this combination maintained already combination we can't maintain if you change one of this here i change 0 2 so it, you can maintain the key field nothing but a, the same combination we can't maintain multiple times we can maintain at a time okay for example if i given key field only sales organization if i given only sales organization then this combination this is not an accept because of already thousand combination one series assigned so thousand combination we can't assign this one because of already assigned okay if you given key field as a division then it will assign okay that is the key field now we have to tell you about one more these are all the key fields for this table these are all the key fields for this table then what you will do you will create one two g tables how we will create in go you will go to sc11 sc11 you will create the g table like a z zsd underscore inv underscore triple zero one okay you will create like this but uh in demo system we don't have access to do to do that okay so you will create that is uh, taking by the above par above par uh, they will do that okay nothing to do from just we need to give information to them just this is enough as it is you can provide there is no uh, much information to provide to them just same as it is you can copy you can paste them okay they will create two g tables okay after created this g to uh, these two g tables okay then we will come to requirement then we can understand clearly then what is the requirement whenever we are say this information we need to tell the above part. after create this g, these two g tables we need to tell the, them what while saving invoice while saving billing document system has to check this first g uh, first system has to check first this uh, g table system has to check okay this system has to check if number id maintain against this combination if number id maintain against this combination okay if number is number range assign against this combination system has to give the number okay if as a 19 we are assigning here right instead of assign vofa we are assigning here okay if you assign this combination the number invoice number will see, uh, will come after saving invoice in case this combination there is no number okay if this combination there is no number okay if data is not there then system has to check second okay there is no data in the first table there, if there is no data is there in this table then it has to call another number range that is more another table okay another table system has to check another table like zsd underscore n with 0 to to fetch the invoice number range to get the invoice number range okay system has to check the another table to get the uh, number range this combination in case this this combination there is no number range assigned okay this number range is not assigned then system has to check second table this combination this uh, this combination system has to check if de, if number range assigned if number range assigned system has to give number range there is no number range assigned in these two uh, tables it has to throw error as a there is no number range so it has to uh, it shouldn't save the invoice it has to throw there is no invoice okay there is no it shouldn't take from the it shouldn't take from the vofa It shouldn't take from the vivo fa that is the requirement this information we do we need to tell to them about us okay once we told this information he will ask what is the program on what is the user exist this is the program rv underscore 60 underscore af jet c okay this is the user exist user exist underscore number underscore range underscore inv underscore date in this program in this user exit okay if you see the coding also i captured here above all we'll do in this program in this user exit he will write logic like this okay he will write logic like this okay what is writing here 
द यूजर एक्जिस्ट वाट विज टू टेबल्स इज देर ई एन वि अंडर स्कोर डबल जीरो वन डबल जीरो टू ओके दिस टू टेबल ईज पासिंग इन इंटरनल टेबल ईज क्रियेटिंग ऑन इंटरनल टेबल जस्ट वाट ईज चेकिंग इफ डेटा ईज ओके इफ डेटा ईज देर इफ डेटा ईज देर कामे फस्ट टेबल ओके इफ डेटा ईज देर इन फस्ट टेबल ओके इफ डेटा ईज देर फस्ट टेबल वि आर् टेकिंग द नंबर ओके वि आर् टेकिंग द नंबर एल्स ओके एल्स वि आर् चेकिंग द अनदर टेबल वि आर् चेकिंग इन अनदर टेबल मे बी द नंबर टेबल नंबर गिवेन रांग इट हाज टू बी टू इट हाज टू बी वन फर्स्ट सिस्टम हेज टू चेक दिस टेबल दिर इज नो डेटा इन दिस टेबल नेक्स्ट सिस्टम हेज टू चेक दिस टेबल ओके सिस्टम हेज टू चेक दिस टेबल टू गेट दि इनवर्स नंबर रेंज इन बोथ टेबल इन बोथ टेबल दिर इज नो नंबर रेंज इट हेज टू थ्रो दि एर एज ए नंबर रेंज डज नाट टेक् सी एज इट इज अब आप आलसो यू विल रईट दि कोडिंग लाइक दिस एज इट इज अंडर दिस प्रोग्राम वेर यू विल रईट यू विल यू विल वेट एस सी थर्टी एट एस सी थर्टी एट इयर आर वि अंडर स्कोर आर वि एफ ओके प्रोग्राम एजेड एजेड आर वि सिक्सटी रईट या आर वि सिक्सटी एफ जेड सी दिस द प्रोग्राम ओके इन दिस प्रोग्राम ई थिंक वी डोट हेव एक्सी फर् चेंज विल गो टू डिस्प्ले मोड ओके इन दिस प्रोग्राम वी हेव दि लाट आफ यूजर एक्जिस्ट इन दिस यूजर एक्जिट वी यू नीड टू गो द नंबर रेंज दिस इज द नंबर रेंज यूजर एक्जिस्ट ओके इन दिस नंबर रेंज यूजर एक्जिट ओके इयर यू विल रईट दि लाजि इयर यू विल रईट दि लाजि ओके इन दिस यूजर एक्जिट यू विल रईट दि लाजि इयर इंस्टेंट आफ टेकिंग फ्रम दि विओ एफ ए इट हेज टू टेक् फ्रम दिस कांबिनेशन सो इन एंट्री पॉइंट आफ व्यू आलो इफ यू यू कैन टेल द सेम वाट वाट कैंड आफ एनहेंसमेंट यू डन टिल नौ यू कैन से लाइक ई डन एनहेंसमेंट ऑन द नंबर रेंज ओके मै क्लाइंट डोंट वाट टू टेक् द नंबर डोंट वाट टू टेक् द नंबर फ्रम दि वाट आर वि यू मेटेन वि एन जीरो वन ईडी ओके दट ईडी वाट आर वि असैन इन विओ एफ ए ओके इट शुड एंड टेक् फ्रम दि विओ एफ ए इट हेज टू टेक् फ्रम दि जी टेबल वी हेव दि टू टू कैंड आफ जी टेबल्स वन इज दट कांबिनेशन आफ सेल्स आर्गनजेशन डिवीजन प्लांट ओके प्लांट एंड बिल्कुल टाइप दिस कांबिनेशन इफ इफ नंबर रेंज असैन इट हेज टू टेक् फ्रम दि जी टेबल ओके इफ देर इज नो नंबर रेंज इट जी टेबल इट हेज टू थ्रो दि एर एज ए देर इज देर इज नो नंबर रेंज एक्जिट ओके सेम लाइक दट यू कैन टेल दम सो इन दट वाट इज द फंशन रोल इयर वी नीड टू प्रोवैड टू लाजि टू अबापर ओके दिस वाट इज द रिक्वयरमेंट वी नीड टू एक्सप्लेन then we need to give the program then we need to give the user exist and we need to give the num uh, g tables okay g tables what id we need in the g table what kind of fields required and what are the key fields this everything as it is we need to provide to abapper once provide this information he will he will write the coding like this okay he will write the coding like this so in the point of view we need to tell to interview everything this all things this is the requirement while saving the billing document system has to check the this g table to get the number id okay if uh, uh, number id number id if number id is maintained this combination it has to fetch or else it has to check another table another table it has to check another table if there is no data if there is data it has to fetch if there is no data it has to throw the error okay the program is rv underscore six rv sixty af jet c user exist under user exist underscore number underscore range i am missing on date uh, we create uh, two g tables jd jd underscore inv underscore triple zero one jd underscore inv underscore triple zero two okay uh, first uh, g table combination is like this second g table combination like this why you want two g, uh, g tables because of my client you want to check two combinations the first priority this table the second priority this table okay if you don't want this uh, this kind of tables you want only one just only one okay always is checking the first table always is checking first table so here abapur will he will not write like uh, else this else part he will not write okay the this else part he will not write 
this as part you will not write just you will write like in this uh, so what we is doing here system is checking okay this table is not required then okay what are you doing just to system is checking this combination if data is there we are fetching the number okay we are fetching the number if data is not there this combination data is not there this combination we are throwing error as a there is no number range okay there is no number range okay maybe some people get any you know, one doubt why we have to use this already we have one more uh, uh, program jz in that we have a number range like a uh, user exist underscore number underscore range why we can't use that user exit why we have to use user exist underscore number underscore range underscore and we have to date because of if you observe here here we have user exit user exit underscore number so user exit underscore number underscore range okay so this is the one more number range but if you observe here if you observe here so i am going to the another uh, this is the jz rv 60a of jz jz maybe if you interview ask you why we can't use rv 60a of jz instead of rv 60a of jc and instead of using this number user exist means okay if you see in uh, jc in standard itself the jc here clearly mentioned sap standard this user exists can be used to determine the number range for internal document number okay this user exists can be used when the number range number range should be impact on invoice date via table okay this user exists active active user exists number range is not proceed anywhere okay if you activate this number range okay system will not uh, consider this system will not, system will not give the that means system will not uh, the first uh, it will not give the priority to this one the first to priority to this one okay this user exists this program is the first to priority and later uh, if there is no data in this user exit then system will check this user exit okay the first to priority is this one so better to we write logic under this user exit rv underscore uh, 60 fjc and user exist is user exist underscore number underscore range underscore inv underscore date okay this is the number range announcement invoice number range announcement same you can note down somewhere uh, same requirement okay if you don't want the two tables you can we can take one table but uh, my requirement is we need two tables as it is uh, as it is my current uh, number range requirement i explained you okay so if if in the point of you don't want to include uh, two tables you can uh, include just you can uh, tell one table instead of taking number range from this table uh, number range from the vofa we are taking number range we are taking number range from inv underscore okay we are taking number range from g table with this combination this combination number range is assigned we are we are taking that number range to while saving invoice okay there is no uh, combination there is no number range in this combination it will throw the error or else we will do one thing if instead of throwing error if you uh, if i mean this combination is not there then what is the second priority system will check in vo fa vo vo fa system will check the second priority vo fa it will go to vo fa whatever number range is there it will take that so we need to remove number range from if you assign number range here if there is no number from this table if you not if a number is not fetched from this table it will take from here so if you remove here okay if there is no number range in this table it will throw the error as a number range is not exit okay like this we can do the number range announcement okay if you have any doubts just you can comment me okay i can reply i can guide you and i, I can explain your doubts okay one second thank you all for watching the video next i'm going to cover idocs and variant configuration variant configuration idocs i'm going to explain please watch the more videos and refer to your friends to get the more subscription thank you all